Skimbo even knows what he's going to call. Yeah, I would say if Skimbo has, if anybody has a good idea, it'd be Skimbo. Skimbo's going to be ready. Throughout the tournament, we're going ham on Twitch drops. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200 pick currency quick sell, and a competitive series trophy. Click the link below on that Twitch stream to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. People talk about how random Ryan is on defense. Right. Obviously, Strafen is on defense. But I, I mean, on offense, sorry. I love how he approaches the game on defense. He's going to randomly blitz eight. He's going to randomly blitz two guys. That's, I think defense is the best part of his game. Skimbo on offense, strafing on D. See some match coverage right there. We haven't seen that too much in this group. I'd be strafing match coverage. Well, that is, he's running a zone, but his, his, his zones are going to match to the wide receiver that are running through the zones and run man-to-man -man through them. So again, you see strafing. I, I, by the way, I love the fact that you call him his government name all the time. You call yeah. him Ryan. Just so used to it. I've known him for some years. Uh, it's, just, it's just uncomfortable calling him strafing, but I, I got to lock in. So here we go. Skimbo. After suffering a tough loss at the hands of Spoto, can he rebound? And can Ivy strafing score some first half points? Shut out in both games in the first half. Great defense. You saw that strip attempt there, but Sharp does hold on to the ball. Brings up third and six after a four yard pickup. Ivy Strafen's user on defense, the way he takes away different routes, just knows, just really aware of where routes are going once the plays, once the ball is snapped, and that's something that, that takes a lot of learning, and it's a huge learning curve. Told me that his base personnel package will be that 3 3 5 nickel for Strafen. He's coming. And how He's about coming. That? And how about that? Sending that heat. Forcing the fourth down. What a great Got an early, early fourth down. What a great early <laughs> defensive possession there from IB Strafen. Maybe my prediction is just going to be way off. <laughs> Amazing defense these first three downs. Let's we'll see if he can get off the field here. Are you surprised? Fourth and 16 going for it at this stage in the game? I am surprised because Kimbo is normally so patient, so prolific on those opening drives. It's interesting. More pressure being applied. Oh, the first down is picked up. What a play call. I just don't love the defense there. You know, I, I thought he would go, use her that, that route. It looked like his user kind of got caught in no man's land, and, and that's, no, that's no. going to happen. You're going to give up those long fourth downs when you do that. Oh, Strafing has to be kicking himself. Had a great opportunity there. On fourth and 16, Skimbo picks it up. The drive continues. Rolls out. Rolls out. Throws it away. I just want to say that play is not going to be there for Skimbo. He's running bunch trail. Whatever Ryan's doing with those safeties, he's got it completely guarded, and it's almost baiting Skimbo. Like, he thinks it's going to get open, so he's pausing for a second, and then he's not able to look at his other reach because he thinks he's going to have a huge play. But, but realis realistically, Ryan has double coverage up the middle. Very quickly, what route is Strafen taking away? It's a long, deep post to, to the outside receiver, the lone side receiver, Randy Moss. So for those of you on Twitch, keep an eye on that. So here comes Skimbo on second and 10. He's throwing to the right side. Great oh, move. Baby. Oh, baby. Oh, he caught it. What a dot that was. I didn't think he caught that. I thought Ryan, I thought Ivy Strafen got there and kind of made a play with his user, but it looked like Skimbo was able to snag it before he could. Great read, great throw. Complete all the way up to the 32-yard line. What a chess match we got here. I love it. Skimbo scanning, climbing the pocket. And then he'll get buried. Held that ball for way too long. A three-yard loss. I love Ryan's defense right now. I know I know Skimbo's already in his territory, but I, I love the way Ryan's playing defense. Skimbo's plays are being long. There's no quick reads. He's having to take his time. Yep. He's playing great defense. If you ask Ryan, he tells you he's got the best defense in the field. Will it hold up here? Ball to 34. Skimbo scans. He'll throw to the right. Yep, it's caught. First down. And again, when we talk about defensive philosophy, he likes to, we're talking about Ryan. Now you got me doing it. I'd be strafing. Likes to use her the middle of the field with his linebackers or his safety, Sean Taylor. Strafe has told me defense just comes naturally to him. Yeah, he's got a great, great vision out there. He's able to see where routes are going. So uh, I would have stuck with the running back there. 
quick toss to Mixon. Only gives up four, though. You're still, you're still in a fine defensive uh, position. You, you can still easily hold him to three. Picking up four yards in the red zone really doesn't mean too much because you right. need seven. You know what I mean? Like, first, first through fourth down, they're all the same down in distance, really. And almost to your point, as you mentioned, it kind of compresses that field. Absolutely. If the, if the, yep, he's throwing the wheel. Oh, that ball is picked! Oh, my A God. perfect time and uh -oh. user pick! Ryan jumps up. I.B. Strafen, get you some! He's one, he's one player that I would not throw that versus. He's always got a way to stop everybody's most popular play. Amazing defense right there. User pick. Now he's got to go get seven. At the eight-yard line going in, Skimbo known to just be so methodical down there. Throws a pick to I.B. Strafen. What a great pick that was. What a great defensive play. Huge. Using that Eddie George. I think some series might have might have put some people onto this Eddie George. All right, so there you go. That's the pick. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. That replay brought to you by Snickers. Davis had an opportunity there. Just couldn't come down with it. A little bit of bad luck, if we're being honest. Yeah, Skimbo's gotten some pretty good animations right, when people have thrown that route to that tight end. I don't know if he knows something or or what's going on, but he's gotten a few good animations. We've seen this photo pick six, and this is my favorite play in the game. He might, he may or may not have stole this from me. <laughs> so here we go, a third and ten. Got him. A great play Fourth call. And Fourth and ten. But could not come down with it. Brings up fourth and ten. Boy, two times in a row now. Could have picked it up, but just didn't get that animation to go his way. Now you're at fourth and ten, God, and Skemmo's sending everybody. It looks like he's, oh no, he's still on that nickel. I thought he went to the 5-2 right, defense. So two wide receivers on the left-hand side. Here comes Strafe, sprawling out. Can he find anything? Throws across, so good at finds his time. man! It's Galladay, the user playmaker, gets him the first down! He's so good with that playmaker and so good at buying time with his quarterback. Detroit, Detroit. He is the best player in the field with that playmaker, I promise that. So here we go, strafing now. Find a little bit of juice offensively. Really? That time, the animation goes his way. He's going to catch that quite a bit when he throws that high pass. Vernon's Detroit, unbelievable Detroit. in this game. He's, probably the, he's my favorite tight end. A lot of people like Shannon Sharp, but I prefer Vernon Davis. He's going to make that catch a lot of the time. So Strafing threatening now the 27-yard line. There's Got George, space. tons of space on the left Struggle. side. That's fine. And he'll power his way up to the 12. If you're Skimbo, you're starting to get a little nervous. That first game went so well, and now you're at serious potential of getting eliminated from this gone, tournament. Gone, gone, gone. All right, Strafing, who has held scoreless in the first half of his first two group stage games. Can he find the end zone here? Oh, my goodness, almost throws the pick. All right, what are you doing, buddy? You got to stop. You're in the red zone, and the first play you're in the red zone, you give your opponent to get that pick that you just took from him. You're trying to give it right back. Why not just stick with the run game? You just picked up 15 yards, come back with the run, see how it goes, and then maybe try that pass. But I don't like that pass at all right there in that situation. So does he go back to the run game? No, strafing, scrolling to the right, under pressure, finds his man Galladay at the seam. Very close to that first down, third and three from the five-yard line. It looked like nothing was there, but like I said, he's so good at buying time with his quarterback. He's so patient. Now he's at third and three rather than third and ten when you're almost never going to get a touchdown. So we'll see. I'm, and, I'm pretty sure we'll see a run here now. And you brought it up, but I just love the vision that he has. And Absolutely. The patience. So patient. If you're Skimbo, that tight end went to, to, to the number to the letter B. You know it's a run play. I would run commit right here. Three seconds on that play clock. Gets the ball off. Here's Eddie George powering forward. George. Picks up the first down. Gets down to the one. Skimbo hates it. So as the first quarter comes to a scoreless close, I.B. strafing with an incredible red zone stop. What a perfect user pick that was to set up this drive at the one yard line going in. Catches a big break right there on that first and 10 from the 12 yard line. Almost gives the ball right back to Skimbo. And now he's first and goal at the one yard line. Most likely gonna take a seven up and lead. Second quarter action. Can strafe 
Get in there. Phil Hughes, George, hey, George. Gets it easily. And he was held scoreless in the first two group stages in the first half. Oh, wow. This plays into Strafe's game big time. An early lead. He can use that defense. And Ivy Strafe has some, some history with Skimbo. They've played a lot, so he's not going to be as intimidated as some of these newer guys like Spoto and Crusher. Although Spoto did come out with the win, wait, you see how, how slow he started. Not Ivy Strafe. He's going to be ready for Skimbo. He knows Skimbo's a great player. He knows what he has to do. And he's played he's played good you know he, he got to stop his first drive and he just scored if you can find a way to get another stop it'd be amazing all right the kick up and good makes it seven to nothing keep it locked on the madden league ops twitter handle for live tournament coverage content news updates and more madden league ops on twitter by the way, let me get a little love for, for our guy, Matt Franchise. Follow him on Twitter as well. He'll get you a lot of updates across the EA Sports universe. Follow him at Matt Franchise. All right, 7 nothing the score right now. Strafe with an early touchdown advantage on Skimbo. If you're Skimbo, you know you have to get points this guy. You cannot get stopped again. And Skimbo has just looked uncomfortable, under pressure again, has to throw it away again. And these are the two differing styles we see now between Strafe and Skimbo. Strafe, when he's under duress and rolls out, still looking to make that pass. Skimbo, trying to play conservative, will throw it out of bounds. Skimbo's more so looking not to take a sack. You know, Ivy Strafe, he's going he's gonna to take some sacks, but he's going to also buy time for these huge plays. Great Skimbo, Skimbo fires it off to the right, picks up that first down. Vic now, 6 of 10 throwing. Does have that interception as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see Skimbo go back to that motion out wheel from rather than only doing it in the red zone. We see him doing it from everywhere because Ivy Strafen is dropping back in that cover four. So that route is going to get open on the sideline a good bit of time. Seven to nothing, your score. Second quarter just underway. Great use there by Ivy Strafen. Explain that. He, he just knew that no other route was going to get open by that, by, by, by any other, uh, excuse me. No other route was going to get open, so his only job was to guard that guy, and that's what he did. He just Limited followed the game. Him. Yep, didn't overthink it, just, just took it away. A four-yard pickup for Skimbo. Keeps him in a manageable down-and-distance situation. Strafe backs up the dogs, drops into coverage. Good defense. Skimbo will throw it off to the right. Oh. I tell you what, that ball hung up there for a second. And I don't know if you noticed, right before the ball was snapped, Ivy Strafen backed his players yes. off, and I think that's why that DB made that play. I think he might know something about some of these other competitors don't know and has a way to defend that long corner route that a lot of people don't know how to defend. Interesting. Great insight being provided by Sirius Mo. Skimbo on 36. Almost drops himself. Oh my. oh my goodness. I thought for sure that was a turnover. That was a bad read. That was a bad read, but he got rewarded because Moss has such a big frame. If he's able to get in front of the defender, he's going to catch it every time. Used that high throw, avoided the pick there. If I'm Ryan, I'm noticing that he has this this player over here, Whitney, in the game. He's a 10-cap player. He's not going to catch anything. He's not going to do anything against you. I would just kind of leave him alone and focus on the other players. Great defense. Great defense. Skimbo throws it away. Second and 10. What are you noticing, Mo, from a defensive standpoint? What is Strafing doing to confuse double, double, double. Skimbo? He's just taking away. He, he knows that the, the two most important the players on, in this formation are the slot guy and the long side wide receiver. Those are going to be your best route. That's who you're going to look to throw the ball to most of the time. And he's just taking away those two players every time and making other people make plays. Another throw away for Skimbo. Brings up third and ten. I think some will look at the offense here and say, if you're Skimbo, why not take some more underneath routes and kind of give the give what Strafing is giving you? See, that's the problem. Strafing's kind of baiting that. He's, he's pretending like he's guarding the deep route, but he's shooting down right when he knows that Skimbo's about to throw to that guy who looks like he's wide open and cutting him off for a short game. Skimbo throws the bullet pass. Right there, that was, that was amazing bait. Amazing bait. 
What that means is he was he was guarding that post over the middle. It was going to be open, and he shoots down because he knows that that window to throw to that other guy is coming up. So he just shoots down, takes his chance that Skimbo's going to throw it there. Skimbo threw it there. He was able to still catch it there, but you're happy. You're 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 all over your opponent right now. I love all the little details. Just the I mean, just the small, small, tiny details that you get when you get a high level belt winner like Sirius Mo on these games. Seven nothing your score. Under three to go in the first half. Strafing with an early lead. Skimbo looks, drops it underneath. Oh, great stick work there. Ryan is doing a great job of, of playing both both routes, both routes, playing both routes, but he's having some trouble with his user ability to, to actually make a play on those routes that are underneath. He's, he's not making the tackles. He's not breaking the ball up. As you've seen on third and 10, he had a great opportunity to either pick the ball off or break it up, and he wasn't able to do either. And extends his Skimbo drive rather than getting a stop. If I'm understanding you correctly, he's doing a great job Great job usering and making reads. Just the stick work not quite there yet. Exactly. Skimbo! Oh, what oh a my hit. goodness. I thought for sure that was seven, and Skimbo thought it was seven, too. If you're in this tournament, you're hoping that you have Steve Atwater because the play he just made was ridiculous. His ability to break up those passes. So huge. When it's hot, hot. When it's hot. Skimbo's going to come right back to the wheel route. He's not a Skimbo. Look at oh, scouting. Slides down to protect himself. If you're Ryan, you're happy. That it's basically like second down never happened. That that four yards is rarely, rarely going to come into play. He's gonna he's gonna go back to that verticals concept. He's gonna put the post over the middle to his inside slot receiver. And he's gonna if that if that wheel route's not double covered, he will throw it. If there's not an extra man over there to guard that wheel route, he's gonna throw it. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Ball spot at the eight yard line. Strafing. With an early touchdown advantage, can Skimbo respond? Skimbo looking, throws, Amazing. touchdown! He just adjusted to his opponent's defense. He knew exactly what he ran on the defense. Ran on defense last time he was down there. He knew that that would be open. That was a great window to throw that ball. What was the route that he called? An in route, in route, a little dig. Oh, he blocked it. Oh he my. missed it. He missed the block. Uh, picked up the flag, but he was there. And look at Skimbo having a good laugh about it. Yeah. Grateful. Grateful he didn't block it. It's huge. I mean, strafing is this close. Absolutely. This close. He's, he's that close to making this a two-possession game, too, and having getting the ball at half, too. All right, let's take a look. Skimbo doing what he does. Finding pay dirt. Let's go! Come on! He's pumped. He's fired up. He knows he needed that score so bad. Third down, too. Gets really tough on third down when you know you have to kick a field goal if you stop. All right, so here comes George. This a is good an important tackle. drive. This is an important drive for Ivy Strafe. He's going to take all of this clock. I can promise that. And now the question is, is he going to get points? Is he going to turn the ball over? And is, is he going to get a touchdown? This, this will be the last Detroit, drive of half unless Detroit. he turns it over. Score all tied up. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. 140 right, to go. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Strafing kind of just going through the motions. You kind of figure he's going to drain as much clock as possible. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. And George stopped. Strafing kind of put himself in a tough situation now where he's, he's forced to pick up a pretty big third down. You know, I, I don't really like the run call there, but I get it. You know, you, you're trying to you're sure. trying to get it, make it easy on yourself, but when you when somebody plays great defense, it gets tough. Play action. We'll throw to the middle. Oh my goodness! Fourth down. This is the play of the game. Any I momentum mean, playing with fire right there. Any momentum you had early on in the game can easily be taken away if you're stuck right here. He's going to the gun bunch formation. Detroit! Detroit! I don't ever see him in this formation, so I don't. I, I initially just already don't like the play call. <laughs> so gun, gun! you never know. He might have been laughing yeah, with it. Absolutely, absolutely. He could completely prove me wrong here. I just would prefer to see him back in that trip tight end. So here we go. Strafe, moving, looking, firing, goes to the middle of the field and is picked off. Essentially an arm putt there. Yeah, not a very good, not, not nobody, not a very good route concept there. He just had the one post. The other guy, he, he, he scrambled over to the right, so that was the only route he could throw. He had nobody on that side of the field. Can I say this? I actually think it's a smart play to throw the pick oh, there oh, yeah, instead, the of, pick, yeah. instead of getting down and, and giving that short, short field of course. to Skimbo. Of course, absolutely. But Skimbo could have just swatted the ball away, you know, so 
he's, he's kind of fortunate that Skimbo picked it off, but yes, throwing the pick there is for sure better than... than um, taking the so, loss on down. Take, throw, taking a loss on down. All right, so a timeout there. Skimbo down to his last one. 54 seconds to go. Plenty of time. And if you're Ivy Strafen, you almost think... I know it's only fourth and eight, so you almost have to go for it, but... I mean, you've played such good defense. I understand that Skimbo still scored his last drive, but you've been playing great defense. You've been making him work. Punting wasn't a bad, a bad, a bad option, man. Skimbo scanning. Under pressure. Strafen now he's sacked. And it's Strafen calling the timeout on third and 18. See, I'm not... I know a lot of Madden players like to take that timeout, but me, I know I'm getting the ball at half. I normally don't take that timeout there because then you're forced to, what if, what if Skimmo gets a big play, then he, he didn't have to use that timeout. Whereas before, you almost force Skimmo to just go to half, you're gonna get the ball at half. I don't, I don't really love the timeout there. Third and 18, Skimbo climbs the pocket, tons of time. Clean pocket, throws to the right, picks up that first down, and it's just like you said. It's just, it's so tough when, when you get the, when you, when it's so easy to pick up a lot of yards in this game, you know. You, there's no point in calling a timeout. Skimbo's, he might, if he does come out and play early, that's great. You know what I mean? So, make, force him to make the decision, not you. 42 seconds to go. Also got out of bounds there. Stop the clock. Skimbo. Oh, picked up the blitz perfectly. Then throws it to the right. Big hit stick. The ball's out. Oh, he fumbled. The ball is out. Big but Strafe could not pick it up. I mean, the clock the keeps rolling, though. Plays. He didn't gain any yards, and the clock is rolling. You need the fumble, but the clock is rolling. Hold your opponent to three. It's a lot easier now. Just don't give up a big play here. 20 seconds to go. Under pressure will throw to the left side. Oh and try to sandwich that one in between a couple of defenders. And again, I think Skimbo got, got away with one there. Ryan's all over him. Ryan's all over him right now. He's playing great defense. Hey, let's go. If you're Skimbo, just go to half up three. You know what I mean? Don't make a mistake here. You're almost never going to score a touchdown unless your opponent just completely breaks down on defense. I don't love us slinging the ball 30 yards right now. 14 seconds to go. Under pressure. Brought down. And for a man and a player like Skimbo that, as you mentioned, so difficult to sack. Strafing really showing his defensive bones here, able to sack him twice on this drive. And you made the field goal bit a little bit more tougher on yourself because you backed up six yards. You know, it's just not. I, I didn't like the way we he, Skimbo managed that half at the end, but you know he's fine. It, it worked out. He got three points. So here we go, 49-yard attempt on the way. It's not a perfect kick. Good. Job. It's good. And it's good. Strafing was a little early on that block attempt. Couldn't get to it there. So we go into halftime with Skimbo and Strafing all tied up at seven apiece. Let's take a look at the other game going on right now. Spoto taking on Crush. And it's 14 to 10 at halftime, but if we learned anything from the Skimbo Spoto game, no lead is safe. As Spoto has done a great job making those defensive adjustments. A lot on the line in these games. A lot on the line. Everybody's playing for something. Everyone except for Spoto could be easily eliminated if they don't if they don't play well. All right, so 10-7 your score at the halftime break. What can strafing do here on offense? Remain patient. Uh, trust, in your, trust in your reads. Trust in your game plan to get here. You know, that, that happened in the way you wanted to, especially after that first quarter. You, you, you came out so strong. Just You have to get points this drive. Put your defense back in position to win you the game. I'll say this. It's the smallest halftime deficits he's faced in the group stage. And he's obviously well in it. This time, fires it off across his body, picks up a good chunk of yards, brings up third and inches. It's a big play. I know it seems so small, but he could have easily taken a sack there, and if he would have thrown it any earlier, it would have been a pick. Just great patience by Ivy Strafen. You know, like I said, just stick with your game plan. You hope that it will work out, but you can't You can't just be going to gun bunch just because you got stopped a few times. You've been great in this, this trip side information. Stick with it. 
but knowing strafing, he just likes to mix it up. That's his personality. There goes George, picks up the first Eddie, down. He's got more! Eddie. Eddie George tripped up from behind! Oh my! One broken tackle away from a touchdown. He's, he's, he's going to run through those tackles a lot, but his speed just isn't quite there like the other the other running backs that people are going to be using. Detroit! Detroit! Skimbo, literally by the laces, Watch prevents the touchdown Barney. there. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Does have first down, though. Strafing will hand it off again. This time, George met in the backfield. Keep it locked on the Madden League Ops Twitter handle for live tournament coverage, content, news updates, and more. Again, it's Madden League Ops. Strafing. Play fake. Got He's got a man. Great pace. He finds Galladay. Great, great read. And a great juke to pick up a few extra. Skimbo's upset. What do you think he's upset about? I think his buttons might have switched, and that's why he didn't have a safety up top. If you notice, he had to take away the tight end and the post route himself. So I think. Uh -oh. oh, it's a big hitter fumble. The ball is loose, and Skimbo has it. Oh, no. Hey, Robbie Strafing, you just made such a good play to get down there, and you get his stick fumbled. It's, it's a big hit. You can't even be mad, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a big hit. Your, your offense is a little bit tired. It's great defense. So, oh, with a three-point lead, Skimbo gets the ball back. Throw it to the right side. Shot driven down. Robbie Strafing is doing such a good job of taking away multiple routes right now with this user. Something that's so tough to do. He's kind of, he's Skimbo's throwing exactly where he wants to. You know, even if he completes the pass, that's where Skimbo, that's where Ivy Strafen's wanting him to throw the ball. Line, line, line. 300, 300. So on back-to-back -back drives, Strafen has had an uh, interception and then a fumble to start the third quarter. Ooh. If you're Ivy Strafen, you're wondering where your fumble's at. Right. You're trying to get it back. Right. You just, you just took a huge hit after breaking a, a tackle. You're like, come on, I need that back. It's... It's a tough it's a tough game we play. And you think about it as well in that first half, there was that hit stick fumble that Skimbo had, but his team was just there to pick it up. Yep. It's how the ball bounces sometimes, man. Gift and a curse. Oh, and Skimbo on offense, scanning the field, scanning, throws it underneath. I would like to see Ivy Strafen mix up and maybe throw, run a blitz at him because it, it looks like Skimbo is, he's, he's kind of, he's finally locked in on what Ivy Strafen's doing. And that, that in route's always going to be open if he's, if he's not guarding the post. Skimbo on second and four. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Skimbo scrolling out left. We'll throw left. Great patience. At first, I thought he was just going to throw the throw the ball away, but I didn't even see that that C route. Just an amazing, amazing route concept. Great play. Kurtopin describes Skimbo's offense as high powered because it's just going to work every time. He just makes it work every time. He doesn't play like anybody else. He really doesn't. Uh, he finds his own way to do, get it done. And like I said, he's spinning as little as cap as possible to, to have a prolific offense, and it's working out for him. Skimbo, under pressure, sacked again. Sack number three for Strafen. I find that to be very impressive, given again, Skimbo's ability to kind of elude the rush. Absolutely. Uh, one of the sacks was at the halftime. I think Skimbo just let him sack him, so he, so he wouldn't, wouldn't make any mistake. But yeah, his ability to get to, to Skimbo has been something that's definitely been, been helpful. Skimbo's been in a few of these second and 18, third and 18, fourth and long. And you don't see Skimbo in those spots very often. Second and 18, dumps it underneath. It's going to bring up a third and long. And Skimbo just keeps spinning and keeps spinning. And like I said, Ivy Strafen's wondering, where's my fumble at? Right. He keeps spinning into my big hitters. I need my fumble back. So that's something to look for. Skimbo may, may hey, drop go. the ball here soon. Third and 13. Oh, oh. Up, up. I wonder if Sirius Mo can speak Make it into the ball. universe. We shall see. Watch this long and route on the left. Skimbo. Great defense. Throws it to the right. Tries it gets there. Oh, my. Jesus Christ. And I.B. Strafing just so frustrated he can't get that turnover. But he is doing an unbelievable job on defense. It feels like a few few plays of West Skimbo's way. 
Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, and I, and I understand. And uh, but you get your you get off the field. You know what I mean? It, uh, you didn't pick the ball off, but you get a stop anyways because Skimbo, Skimbo believes in his defense, and I don't blame him right now. Skimbo nursing a three-point lead and at the 48-yard line decides to punt it away. He's going to try to make Ryan Amazing work. Punt. Oh, and the ball takes a bad bounce. Hey, that's, a, that's a big one right there. He's either going to have the ball at the four or at the 20 or inside the four. That was, that was an amazing punt. Just, just bounce back into the end zone. That's a huge play for Ryan. 47 seconds to go in quarter number three. Gone, 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 gone. This game as good as advertised. Hey, hey, three hey, point hey. game. Detroit, Detroit. It was 10 7 and a half. No, 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 no. Jack, Might Patrick, very well be 10 Patrick. 7 after three. Ah. Strafing under pressure. Finds his man, Moss. Patience is, is what, oh. And he's working his way forward. I thought he might have broke that. I thought he might have as well. Picked up that first down. Ball at the 35. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Can Strafing get his offense going? Offensively, he calls himself the Brett Favre of Madden. Here comes Eddie George. I actually like that comparison. That's a pretty good one. Eddie George, good pick up there. Picked up eight yards. Why is he the Brett Favre, I asked him. He says he's going to take tons of risk. And he's a very streaky offensive player. Needs to find a good hot streak now. Strafing, scrambling. Finds his man underneath. It's Galladay. Got the first down. He's just buying so much time with that Lamar Jackson. It's 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 truly been the difference in the game. Him staying in the game. He's bought so many so much time and made so many plays on the run. I think that that's what's keeping him in it. So the score after three quarters, ten to seven. The great Michael Skimbo nursing a three-point lead. Throughout the tournament, we're going ham on Twitch drops. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200 pit currency, quick sell, and a competitive series trophy. So click the link below to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. We actually saw a punt in this game, which is in competitive Madden, a semi rare thing. I, I would say that that might be the only one we see unless it's fourth and 20 or more. Uh, I think even in that situation, almost all competitors in this field would have went for it. But Skimbo, he has a lot of belief in his defense, and Ryan hasn't scored for since the first quarter, so why not? And as you and as you mentioned, maybe not necessarily totally comfortable in his offense right now. Absolutely. So can Strafing capitalize? He's scanning the field tons Post. of time. He's got a man. Yes, he does. It's Moss. What Trying to shoot play. back inside, I but a big pick up there. Ball at the 19. I love the route combos he used right there. He hasn't been able to find one of those posts over the middle all game. What a what no better time to find it than now. Takes the handoff. Strafing. Back of the end zone. Couldn't come down with it. If he would have, we would have been here. Squeeze it! <laughs> Look at, I mean, look at Strafe right now. Just laser focused, man. Locked in. There's oh. Galladay again. Great, great throw. You know, you just need Galladay to come down with this. It it great patience again. He, he's making all the right reads. He just needs his players to fight a little bit for him. Leopard! Leopard! Detroit! Detroit! What a game. So close. What a battle. A battle of the casters. Skimbo leading 10 to 7. You just cannot turn the ball over here. Your defense has been playing fine. You just cannot turn it over here. He's scrolling he's out. Get him. Oh. He's throwing a, a lot pass. He didn't have time to set his feet and make that throw. Right. Or else he would have been able to fit that in the window, I think. Settling for three here. Not a perfect kick. Opens the door. Up and good. Tie ball game. 10-10 with 425 left to go in the ball game. I'm interested to see how Skimbo plays this drive. I wonder if he'll try to make this the last drive of the game. Got a kick return opportunity. You don't see too many of them. Here comes Sanders. Great spin oh. move. Big stick! But he holds on to the ball. Talk about that fumble. That would have been a good time to get it. That would have been crazy. That would have been, been a good crazy. time to get it. Let's go. 
A relatively low scoring game. Not relatively, it is a low scoring game for MCS playing. 10 to 10 to score. 421 left to go in the ball game. Pass underneath, broken tackle. That's a, that's a big play. Then he goes down. Looked like you were going to get two yards, you right. ended up getting 10, and the yep. clock's moving. First down for Skimbo. Does he have it in him offensively to drain this clock all the way down? I do wonder. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know about this game, but Skimbo is definitely a smart player. He'll know what's the best 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 angle to take in this in this approach. You saw strafing drop back those coverage guys on the outside. Skimbo Got it. has a man, and he finds him at the numbers. If you're strafing, you just give him a big play. But as you see, there's still three minutes left, 3.30 left, and he's at the 40-yard line. You honestly almost prefer you either get a sack here or Skimbo picks up 20 yards where he has a he has almost no space and you're going to get that ball back and have an opportunity to at least tie the game or, or take the lead. It's such an interesting mentality when you get into this competitive space. Absolutely. When you start thinking about down distance and spots on the field. It's something that you have to constantly think about while you're playing. You know, it, it cannot slip your thought. Jones with the spin move again. And I'm with you, Mo. I just, I just feel like one is coming. I just feel like a, a fumble is coming on one of those spins. Uh, Scambo hasn't shied away from him. He's kept spinning, you know. And that's kind of how you have to play the game because the spin move is so effective. It's the best, it it's the best move you can do. It, it's so effective. So you have to just kind of trust and believe in it. Yes, you are going to fumble sometimes, but the, the, the reward outweighs the risk in this scenario. Skimbo snaps it with four on the clock. We'll drop it underneath. Ooh. Strafe went for that strip. Didn't get it. Third and five. 2.30 now, left to go. Quick, quick. Tip. I'm interested to see what we dial up here, because now he's going to have to almost have a, a pretty deep play unless he finds one of those drags over the middle. He sent some pressure. He doesn't get in. And he picked it up. He's got a man open. It's Moss. Not the worst play, though, because now you're getting the ball back. Right. You, you, you would much rather take away the whip route where he picks up six yards and he has all the field to work with and he can milk you out the game. Now you know that you're going to absolutely get the ball back and have a chance to win this game. Two minutes to go in a highly entertaining but low-scoring game. But, man, it has just been – I've been on pins and needles. Absolutely. You, you, you kind of just keep expecting Skembo to make a mistake, but he just hasn't. You know, he's just kept it, his composure. He's moving down the field. Him punting was amazing. You know, you don't see that at all. Just the confidence he has in his ability to, to get a stop. He knows what he's playing for. He keeps his, men, he keeps his mental, gets it, holds him to three, and now he has full control of this game. Hey, let's go! All right, so strafing used to time out there. He's got two remaining. Eagle, eagle. Under two to play. You running the ball here? I am. And it, there goes Skimbo. Wow. Matt um, at the um, two-yard line. Amazing stick work right there because it looks like he's going to get no yards. And he, he takes the play completely away from where it's supposed to go. The play is designed to go up the middle. He cuts it off to the left because that's the only lane he had. Just amazing stick work. Instead of it being third and goal from the seven, it's third and goal from the two. And I don't know why I'd be strafing to elected not to use his timeouts. I, I hate that. It's interesting. Maybe he's wait, wait. thinking, uh, I just, I can't figure it, actually. I, I don't, maybe he's, I don't, I don't know, maybe he's trying to save himself one, you know, for, for that later down the line. Sure. He's got it. Didn't Touchdown. look like he was going to get there at first. Ends up getting to the outside. I like the play call as well, testing the edges that of time. Of course, he hasn't, he hasn't done that yet, so it was good. He's seen everybody up the middle, pitch it outside, right. make one guy miss. So just like that, Skimbo, the old pro, a very methodical drive. It's 17 to 10 with a chance to win it. I'd be strafing is one, one of those players we could see go for two for the win. Uh, I really wouldn't be surprised if, if he scores with no time left if he goes for two. Interesting. Bad news if you're a strafing fan. Apparently, 
because of the way the other game went. Strafe is, is out regardless. Gone, 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 gone. Really? He needed to win this game by, from what I understand, by 24 points because of the point differential. It didn't happen. Still a lot on the line, though, especially for Skimbo. You want that, you want that buy. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Gone, gone! Now one minute to go. Strafing, fire to get to the right side, it's caught. Kenny Galladay. Inbounds, I think. Yep. Inbounds. inbounds. And a little bit unlucky as well, because it took an extra couple seconds for that animation to complete itself. Yep. I'd be interested to see if he goes for two or not, if he scores. Obviously got to get there first, but. Ball at the 41, 45 seconds to yeah. go. Skimbo brings the eight, and he finds the home. Right. See, I thought th I thought this type of situation is why he was saving Detroit. those timeouts. Why not Detroit. burn one there and get your best play Detroit. out there rather than Detroit. the clock ticking, you're going to call some random play. I, I just, I just, I'm just a big fan of using your timeouts to get your best play out there, your absolute best play out there. And Toss to the holiday up the seam. He shuts and me up gone. and picks up 25. <laughs> Clock Still winding though, down. We, not, we gotta use the timeouts right here. There's no reason not to. They do you no good. 22 seconds, 20 seconds now. I can't take them with you. Jackson will fire to Galladay. And Galladay fumbled it. Another user hit stick fumble. That's gonna do it. And that's ball game. Skimbo, Skimbo's upset. He didn't want to win the game like that. You know. Of course, you love you love getting a fumble. You love winning the game, but he didn't want to win the game like that. He felt like he could have won, won it on his own. He doesn't like winning the game like that. In, in three of the last four drives for IB strafing, interception, hit stick fumble, field goal, hit stick fumble. Wow, that's amazing. That is great defense. I'm, I'm interested to know the stat on... Um, the fumbles forced and fumbles fumbles recovered.